Hey my friends, how's it going? It's Ultimus and for today's video I'm going to be walking you guys through step by step on how to obtain the Riddler's Mind Worm mount. Uh, this is a mount that was put in by secret or in secret by Blizzard into the game. Um, we kind of knew it was there but we didn't know how to obtain it and so people over on the uh, secrets discord I believe is what it is for a while. I believe it was a couple hundred to maybe even a couple thousand people were just kind of putting their heads to it and just going for it, figuring out how to get this mount unlocked and they finally did it. And also, uh, I'm actually pretty thankful that they made it public and didn't just be like, we have this secret and nobody else can know. <laughs> so uh, kudos to those guys. Um, and I know this video is getting out a little bit late. Uh, I know there's a lot of other videos already out there, but um, I wanted to make it anyways, simply because if I can be helpful to anybody out there or maybe if I can present it in a way that might be a little bit different uh, since everybody kind of learns differently and everyone uh, responds to different stuff differently. I figured I'd just go for it. Plus, it would be kind of dumb not to. It's new content, so it would be silly of me not to. Um, but I've had trouble getting stuff recorded and published the past couple days because I had some ISP issues. Uh, Charter sucks. And uh, and then the other night when I could have had a chance to do this, I had a screaming baby. So there's that. <laughs> As I continue to say, screaming infants do not make for good videos. So uh, we're going to just go ahead and jump right into this. Hopefully this isn't going to go too fast, but I also don't want this to take forever because there's no reason this video really should be any longer than 8 to 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and dive right in and we're going to see how well this goes. But our adventure is going to start It's going to start in and you're going to head in to the inn here at the Leisure Main Lounge. And the first page we are looking for is going to be on the back here of this uh, shelf. Now, these pages are important to be clicked in order. Uh, the page number doesn't necessarily, is not indicative of the order. I will post a script down in the video description for you guys to check out, which helps keep track of the pages. There are eight in total. In case you're afraid of grabbing them out of order or missing one, it keeps track of your progress as you go, since this isn't technically a quest. Uh, next one, we're going over to Duskwood, the Twilight Grove, which is where the old school uh, Dragon World bosses used to be in vanilla. Uh, you will probably encounter some world PvP, so be prepared for that. Unless you uh, play on a PvE server, then you don't really have too much to worry about. Uh, definitely encourage you guys to take advantage of the Group Finder tool if you are on a PvP server or are having trouble getting ganked. Uh, it just makes it easier to hop to a low pop server. Um, and again, it's, it's pretty easy to find groups if you know what keywords to use for. But the page is chilling on this bench right in front of the moon well, which is simple to click, grab, and you're done. Um, now, it does give you the clues that are given actually for the uh, next location. They're actually kind of cool. Um, but, which makes sense because we're heading over to Firelands, not uh, Molten Core. Uh, you know, Ragnaros was the Lord of Flame of the Elemental Lord, but we're not going into Molten Core. We're going to his actual throne itself in the Firelands. So, uh, this is one of the more time consuming legs of the quest. Now, it doesn't matter what difficulty you do Firelands on. I just did it on 25 Heroic because it's easy as butts and it has a chance at two mounts and it also has a chance to net you some decent gold uh, but you do have to complete all the firelands because in order to get up to ragnaros you have to kill all the bosses first to unlock the um the gate to get to him sorry i was itching there uh and so you have to get all the way up here now i'm pretty sure you can click on the page without killing rag but you're here so you might as well kill rag anyways especially because it's easy but it is over in the corner next to that flame pillar in the corner of the room to the left of ragnaros uh, the next section of the quest is going to take us all the way out to Oldham. Now we're going to be at one of the more southern tips of Oldham. Here as you can see what I'm flying down to. And I will show the map again a little bit later. Uh, this is where I met the most resistance as far as ganking and PvP. People were just sitting on top of it, lighting fires and stuff like that on top of stuff. They were just putting their big old mounts in front of everything. Just The Horde was doing everything they could just to be a pest. And I'm sure if you play Horde, there were Alliance doing the same thing too. Because World PvP can be fun. But as you can see, there are just a grip of people down there. And there is no way I'm getting down there to grab that page. So I decided to take advantage of the Group Finder tool in this particular case. Why is my eye itching? Uh, this is concerning. Uh, but <laughs> so, yeah, this is definitely where I take advantage of the group finder. Just look up all them, uh, mind, uh, mind worm, riddlers, all that kind of stuff, and you're able to pretty quickly find a group again if you know the right keywords to use. Uh, but the page is nestled here in between those two trees. Typically, on this quest, anytime you're out in the world and you see a bunch of skeletons stacked up on each other, it's pretty uh, obvious that the page is going to be there. Just throwing that out there. But as you can see down here at this tip of the map, there is where we're at, and the page is going to be there nestled between those two trees. Easy peasy, rice and cheesy, or lemon squeezy, depending on what your food preferences are. 
Next leg of the quest is taking us out to Panda Land. Uh, hate it or love it, it still exists. Uh, and to the Vale of Eternal Blossoms, and then of course to the Siege of Ogremar itself. Uh, potentially the second most time-consuming portion of the quest, simply because you have to go all the way up to the Shaw of Pride. And the first boss, Mercius, does take a little bit of time, simply because of mechanics. Uh, but again, it doesn't matter what difficulty you do this on, and you don't actually have to kill the Shaw of Pride, as I've read up and confirmed on. Uh, you're able to just go over and pick up the page itself, and it is down in the bottom corner of the room, or more specifically, I should say, the southwest corner of the room. Uh, this basically where the treasure chest spawns after you kill the Shaw of Pride is where it's going to sit. Um, but you don't have to kill the Shaw of Pride, but my thought is, I'm here, I might as well just kill it as a chance at loot and gold and stuff like that, so... Makes it a little bit more worth it to me. Uh, but as you can see, the page is over here in the corner. And all you got to do is clicky clicky and you are done. Um, don't forget to actually make sure it finishes clicking before you're uh, done just to confirm. And if you're running the script, you'll be able to confirm that you've seen it anyways. Next leg of the journey in the sand, snow, sand, and stone, we're heading off into the Caverns of Time to specifically the Well of Eternity. Now, the Well of Eternity uh, doesn't take quite as long as Firelands or the uh, Siege of Ogremar, but you do have to go up into the last portion of the dungeon uh, to get the page. It is right before you face um, the Elven General, dude, I forget his name, and I um, believe it is the Pit Lord, which I can never remember his name because all these Pit Lords have similar names. Um, but you don't, again, have to actually kill the boss. Um, you have to obviously kill the bosses up to this point, but it's a five-man dungeon, so it's not even that big of a deal. Um, kind of a fun dungeon to run though, but the page itself is up here on the steps about halfway up to the boss as you can kind of see where I'm at there. I'll let it be creeping, um, and the page is just chilling here on the steps and there's on the map right there. Um, I believe the D the Pitler's name is Manoroth actually now that I think about it. I don't know why it just suddenly came to me, but there it is. Uh, behold the battle unblinking. So this giving our next clue. And our next clue is taking us out to Winter's Blossom, Kunlai Summit, right in front of the Shadow Pan Monastery. Uh, right up to this lovely looking tiger. He's a friendly looking gentleman, if I do say so myself. Or maybe it's a lady. I can't tell. Um, but uh, you're going to go again. There's bones, so indicative that something is there. And the page is just chilling right up here underneath a tiger, basically, in between his feet. And all you got to do is click on it and you're done. So next, we are on to the Bejeweled Washer itself. Back out to Oldham, right down in front of the Halls of Origination. Uh, as you can see, my uh, little arrow there flying towards the halls themselves. Uh, kind of towards the center uh, portion, kind of center east of the map. I don't know why it was so hard to remember east was an actual direction. Uh, this is the only one that scared me because I accidentally flew to the wrong uh, pillar first. And I thought I'd ungoofed. So I was freaking out. You guys will see that in a second actually on the video as I land. My, I'm just like freaking out looking for it. I'm just like, what? Where is it? No, I didn't just do all this. Um, this quest itself should take you anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on the server you're on, depending on how fast you run dungeons, and of course, if you have to spend time server hopping. Uh, but it is not really time consuming at all. It's a great way to kill some time. And the reward, I think, is worth it because, again, it's one of those things where it's like you have to put the time and the effort into it. And it does remind me of old school WoW, which is something that a lot of players are saying and a lot of YouTubers are saying, which I, I have to agree with it. It's, you know, there was stuff you just had to go figure out and find, you know, or, you know, you had to use ThoughtBot or stuff like that. So, uh, but as you can see, here it is in front of the pillar there, in front of the Halls of Origination. Not the first one, but the second one. The page is there on the ground, right for the picking. And it leads us to the Ray of Sunrise. Apparently that was pi page 5,555, so I want to know how many other, how many more pages there are. Um, and we're off to Westfall now, which was probably one of my favorite zones to ever level in, I'm not going to lie. It takes me back to the good old days when WoW was so fresh and new and I was such a dummy and I thought new gear was coming from vendors, not uh, from dungeons. But I digress. Uh, this, again, you'll be able to see it once you're flying in if your you know, graphics are turned up far enough. The purple box down there, I can already see it. Uh, so it's down there nestled in that little boat there. Uh, and you are good to pick it up, and then it is all yours if you've collected all paid, uh, eight pages, paid ages, all eight pages in a row in their proper order. And there you go. You get your Riddler's Mind Worm, which is a weird name for a mount, but it is cool. I really want to ride around on this on my Shadow Priest. It just looks perfect. 
Uh, but I'll be curious to see what other cool secrets are in the game. Uh, there's been a couple of these so far. We've got, you know, uh, Kasumoth, the world boss, and now we have a mount. And Blizzard did tease that there's going to be a bunch of this type of stuff in Legion. So I really want to know what else is out there. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the secret finding Discord community can find for us. Um, especially because they're the ones doing all the hard work. So seriously, major uh, hats off to them um, and just a wonderful job to them for uh, getting this out to the community, letting us know that it's here. Uh, and of course, to all the people that are putting together all the videos uh, for us to be able to find this stuff. So cheers to that. Uh, like I said before, though, I will be linking the script down in the video description below, as well as a link to how to get this mount uh, if you want more of an image format. But that's going to do it for me, guys, on this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Hit me up on the different social media platforms that I am on. You can find linked all throughout the channel, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I'd love to connect with you guys there. Leave me a comment. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.